guys, as Need for Speed for the PC is out now, you can finally use wheels in the game, and I wanted to do a little video talking about wheels and give you some tips that I found have helped benefit me while playing Need for Speed with a wheel for both drifting and, and, and a little bit of grip driving. I know I'm not the best at grip driving, but I wanted to mention some short little things about it, just to sort of basically talk about it and let you guys know what I think could maybe, maybe help you improve a little bit. Before I begin, I wanted to mention I'm not very good at this game. Uh, you'll notice that fairly early on by the immense amount of absolute wrecks and crashes I do in this video. I'm not very good, but I, I thought I would share basically the idea behind drifting and sort of let you sort of project your own skills and sort of get better from, from these short little tips that I'm going to give you. Anyways, so let's get into it and start talking about the car. Let's start with that. Let's start about building the car. So this particular car I'm building is a full-on drift car. Here's what I would recommend. If you're building a drift car, I would recommend uh, have action nitrous, first of all, definitely have action nitrous, and then full drift tires, a big boy turbo, and then run, say, 500 plus horsepower. As soon as you're above 500 plus, I would recommend, if possible, just go as high as you can, and you'll have better results. But 500 plus, you can definitely get it done with. This car's around 550, I believe. I can't, ex I can't exactly remember, but I would definitely go around there. If you're building a- and then after that, uh, for your tune, just slap it all the way over to full drift. I did switch over to power nitrous, and then I did switch over the uh, drift stability to on. That's all I changed, really. But uh, if you're doing grip driving, I would recommend doing exactly the same stuff, but toss on grip tires instead. Keep the action nitrous. If you want to go with time nitrous, it depends sort of how you drive. If you're driving sort of an erratic manner that you can pick up some nitrous stuff, Go with that, if not, go with Time Nitrous, and then basically, other than that, you want to go in between Drift and Grip, uh, or in between the middle and Drift, I would say. You definitely want your cars on the slidey side if you are using a wheel. I've just found it gives you a lot more control, and you can sort of get around corners much, much quicker. Anyway, so basically, as for Grip driving, that's really all there is to it. Other than that, it's just learn the track, take shortcuts where possible, get the right, be in the right gear for the right time, and use your nitrous appropriately. Other than that, I can't really help you. Every single track is different, so sort of best of luck with grip driving. Anyways, as for drifting, sort of what I planned this whole video around was to sort of give you guys some tips for dr drifting. So, I wanted to give you some of the tips that I've sort of helped found, I, I that sort of helped me improve a little bit. So, let's start talking about them. I have found holding the nitrous down helps a lot. It actually helps reduce the grip in your car and makes it easier to continue sliding and sort of transition from, say, a right-hand corner to a left-hand corner. You'll see me do that. I believe this is the clip where I use it quite a bit. I'm just holding the nitrous down. Although, no, no, you're not getting any extra power from it, your car seems to be a little bit slidier and definitely helps you continue sliding around corners if you don't have crazy amounts of power. Like I said, I'm only running 500-ish horsepower. It's far from ideal, but if you do hold down the nitrous, you can def definitely get a little bit reduced grip and you can continue sliding a little bit more. One of the other things that you can use nitrous for is just using the nitrous in your corners. It helps you push your car around the corner. If you start to drop your speed, say you're going up a hill, for instance, and you start to slow down a little bit too much, toss the nitrous on full blast. It'll help you get around the corner, push you around the corner, and basically keep you sliding a lot. You'll see me doing that quite a bit in this video because, like I said, this car is not very powerful, and I needed to really use all the power available. Anyways, after that, tapping the brake. Tapping the brake is a great way to start drifting. It helps you start sliding and help you transition a little bit. But be warned, if you do use the tr this to transition, it's a very good way to e either spin out, although it's quite difficult to spin out in this game. If you do brake transition, you can spin out quite easily. And it will also drop the speed on your car a lot if you do it at the wrong time. This is one of the hardest things that I found to actually do in in drifting a sort of transition or drifting a need for speed is sort of brake transition. Although it's, a, it's quite a normal thing in real life, for whatever reason, it's quite difficult to do in this game and sort of master. So it's one of the things I'm still working on to sort of sort of get really, really good at. Anyways, the final thing, very similar to the way you could drift with a controller, you can sort of flip the stick around when you're drifting with a controller. You can sort of do that with the wheel as well. You'll notice that a lot of the time I'm moving the wheel sort of constantly. There's no real hold and angle and just stick with it. You're moving the wheel constantly and adjusting your angle and it sort of helps control the car and you get very similar effects to when you're flipping the stick around with a controller. I have found those are the main tips for actually drifting in this game. 
I think it's a very good start for drifting, but if you guys have any other tips for drifting, leave them in the comments down below, and I'd love to hear them, and if you guys, if you guys are learning on drifting, check those out as well. I'm sure there are some guys in there who are very, very good and who can help you drift a lot better. Anyways, guys, hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out even a little bit. Like I said, I know I'm not very good at drifting in this game. I'm not very good at this game whatsoever, but I thought I would share some of the main mechanics of this game and that you could sort of just put them to use for yourself. Anyways, guys, thank you again very, very much for watching. Subscribe if you enjoyed. See you guys in the next one.